Welcome to Plain Spoken. I'm Derek Fournier. Uh, this is a quick uh, hitter. Um, you know, we've got our Plain Spoken podcast where we're usually in some sort of an interview with an industry expert, a colleague, a friend, someone who I think would be interesting to have conversations with. In fact, we have another one coming up next week uh, that we'll be talking about a little bit uh, as we get closer to the actual publication date. But I've had some requests for some shorter content, uh, which is more direct. And so we, that's why we created Plain Spoken. Uh, which we're generally going to be sort of talking head stuff with me, uh, talking about something that has uh, piqued my interest. Um, and as I continue to try and figure out exactly the right way to create content on this platform or on any platform, trying to figure out a way to connect with uh, the audience is part of that process, whether it's written format or whether it's spoken format, whether it's video format. Everyone has a different way they like to consume their information. Now, the spirit or the, the topic of today is actually about that kind of content. I saw an article where uh, TLDV uh, has become uh, an entry in the Urban Dictionary. You guys are probably familiar with TLDR, too long, didn't read, or don't read. Uh, and this is now too long, didn't view, when someone sends you a video clip to view, or maybe it's a company meeting. It could be any number of uh, sources for this content, but essentially it's, it's an equivalent to TLDR for video. And it really kind of pissed me off. I had to I had to kind of think about why it pissed me off so badly. And it really is a recurrent issue with what I perceive to be, or I take to be, this could be my own bias, obviously, uh, as our incredibly shrinking attention span. Now, I have nothing against uh, quick reels and the concept of TikTok. I may, may not be a huge fan of TikTok uh, as a company, but that's immaterial. It's neither here nor there. People consume content in such small volume now that we seem to have lost all sense of context. Now, I say that because it seems like people have an explicit or express preference for that. It's one thing if you have sort of a bell curve and you consume some of that content when maybe you're sitting as a passenger in a car and you're flipping through your TikTok feed or your Instagram reels. Um, and, and really, I think a lot of this started with Twitter, the 140 characters being able to, to summarize your concepts in these incredibly small, digestible, but, but devoid of context chunks. If it's used as a launching off point, fantastic, right? It can be an incredible tool. And in fact, Twitter was an incredible tool early on, not to say that it can't be now, but what really fired me up was it's, it's this willingness to disregard context, to disregard detail. And, and it seems to be a trend. Now, maybe it's not. I'd love to hear from you guys if you think it's not a trend. And I'm not saying you have to go read a 400-page compendium on everything. And certainly, I know that everyone wants to jump into the, the digital public square. Hell, I've got a cooking channel on YouTube. But even on YouTube, I suffer from what I am espousing now, which is I like to talk about how I cook, why I cook. I don't create videos to go viral because I'm not doing it as a, an income source. And I understand that that is you know, somewhat antithetical. Um, I'm doing it to share something that I'm passionate about. And I think that when we're sharing information, generally speaking, we would be sharing information that we're passionate about. We think it touches us maybe emotively, maybe intellectually, uh, spiritually, whatever the case may be. We're trying to share content, and that content requires and deserves its full context. And so whether this is what you perceive as a, a media source picking and choosing quotes and taking them out of context, that's one way this has been done and weaponized over, over history, or whether it's this seeming snarky desire to just uh, to, to limit concepts to, to 140 characters or for a 45-second video, and disregard all of the the nuance. Now that doesn't mean you have to go and cover every angle, but but for the love of God, if someone cares enough to share something with you, read it, watch it. Now if they share something with you and it's garbage, then let them know that. Say, hey, listen, this was garbage. It didn't help me. It didn't inform me. It didn't educate me. It didn't move me. Uh, that's fine, right? And then you can curate your own content by determining, oh, well, John sends me this stuff all the time, and John sucks. I don't want to read his stuff. I don't want to watch his stuff, and that's fine. I would encourage you to do it that way. Uh, that's the way I will try and do it, because when people who I trust, uh, people that are, are near to me or that are, that are uh, sort of have a, oh, hell, a transfer of trust, 
right, a transitive trust from people that I trust already, um, I'll try and consume their content. Um, because I think sometimes we, we lose the beauty and all the detail when all we look at is the summary. And and I get it. And if, you know, if, my, if my friend Carrie uh, happens to watch this, she's also the, the best writer I know and, and the person who taught me that I use 10,000 words when, when 100 would suffice quite often. But I don't think 100 suffice all the time, especially when those things are academically or, or intellectually complicated topics. Uh, we, we seem to be willing to truncate everything uh, indiscriminately almost, um, either because we know that that's what people choose to consume right now. And, and, and you know, there's a good argument that you should make the stuff that people want to consume. Uh, I do think that it, it is better for everyone if, if we give a full picture. And, and I think that starts with our consumption side, which is tune your consumption up. Be willing to read a little bit more. Be willing to listen a little bit longer. Um, don't opt for the easy and the short and lose the context, uh, lest you lose the forest for the trees. So uh, those are my thoughts uh, on this. I'd love to hear yours. Um, and I'd love to hear how, how you consume data, how you consume content. Um, as I continue to build this platform, it's not just about me. I'm going to have other folks that I work with, people that I think are incredible at the things they do. And God knows, all you have to do is, is open your eyes. And, and almost all of us have just incredible people in our lives that do incredible things that we can learn from. Uh, we, can, we can improve ourselves by their models. And so I'm going to do my best to try and bring those folks that I happen to run into uh, to you guys via this platform. And then from a business perspective for Plain Sight, uh, that's what we do for our clients as well. Uh, we try and make sure that our, we bring our perspectives to bear for, for our clients. And um, if you're interested in that, please hit us up on the contact page. We can tell you what that actually means. It sounds a bit obscure uh, or obtuse uh, or some OB word that I don't know right now. But um, but but I'm happy to, to explain as much as I can um, to you if that's something you're interested in hearing about. So uh, we'll continue our podcast series, Plain Spoken. Uh, we'll have that new episode out next week. And we'll continue to produce blog content at plainsight.net, plain-site.net. Um, if you haven't checked out the blogs, love to have you check out the blogs and, uh, and love to get feedback on, on, on what you think about this topic. So thanks for listening um, and I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.